Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday night. <laughs> this is going to be just a kind of a quick one because uh, I don't have a whole lot to report tonight. It was kind of a nothing day really. Um, uh, John and I did get out and go to the uh, grocery store and do uh, grocery shopping. Of course, I got a doggie at my knee. <laughs> Axel wanting his scratchings. But... Um, I, I was fortunate enough today when we went grocery shopping that uh, I was able to get a riding cart. Uh, that's pretty rare, actually, at our Walmart. Usually someone takes those, those up, uh, but uh, they were we just happened to ha come across one in the parking lot that had a good charge, and uh, I was able to ride, because, which is good because my, my right knee is added again. Um, I did get a pain shot last week at the doctor but uh, it didn't last long. They never do. It's just a temporary patch. And uh, I don't know what's going on with my knee. Uh, I think the weight, I see the weight loss doctor tomorrow. And I think one of his specialties is, uh, is arthritis. So I'm gonna ask him while I'm there. Otherwise, I just, uh, I, I'm just hoping it'll get better. Cause it's just arthritis. It's just this changing, it's sudden change in weather. And it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just really bothersome. If it don't get better in another week or so, then I'm just going to call my regular doctor and get back in there and have him do a referral to an orthopedic or something. I don't know. Because uh, this is just becoming too, too much. It's too often and too much. Uh, because it just keeps, it seems like it's just popping in and out, in and out, in and out. And then it swells up like a balloon and and just hurts to, to it feels weak when I go to, to put my weight on it it just feels like it's going to come out from under me and it makes it very difficult to be able to walk so um and it's just gonna and I'll be okay for a few days and then all of a sudden it'll do it again so I really don't know what the heck's going on and and I'm not I haven't fallen I haven't twisted it nothing I don't know what what's going on but um so needless to say it's uh becoming a problem but I was, uh, like I said, I was just really glad to get a rolling cart, a riding cart to do our grocery shopping. And uh, we managed, it took longer because I kept, run, we kept running into this family in the, in the grocery side of the store that had these little boys. And I think they wanted to go home with me. <laughs> they were little stair step boys. They, they, they had three of them with them, but, but they said they had four all together. And then one of them, of course, was was a little redhead boy, and then one of them was what we refer to as a towhead, which is a, a little white-headed boy. You know, his hair was white blonde, and so uh, <laughs> so cute. I told him, I said, "Do y'all need another grandma?" <laughs> he said, "I don't have a grandma. I have a Mimi." <laughs> I said, "That's a that's a grandma." <laughs> he said, "Oh," <laughs> I said, "Yeah." His name was Archer, and he was absolutely adorable. That little redheaded boy just stole my heart. I swear he did. I told you, I, and then and, and I ran into him again in, in the uh, produce uh, area, and I said, I looked at him and I said, are you following me? <laughs> he said, no, I think you're following me. <laughs> I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, I'll just take you home and let you play with the doggies. <laughs> and then I'll just teach you how to crochet. And his daddy just kind of looked at me like, I don't think so. <laughs> and his mama came over and talked to me for a little while. She was super sweet. Uh, got my strawberry water back. They had strawberry water in the house. <laughs> I was so glad, and I got took every one of them home with me. <laughs> they had eight. I took eight. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. When it's your daily drink, and yeah, you take them all. <laughs> but, wasn't nobody else there trying to get no uh, strawberry water, so it's not like I took any from anyone else. Anyway, but, uh, and then we, uh, we, we splurged and got tacos. <laughs> we got, well, we got stuff to make tacos, you know, ground turkey and, uh, soft, soft taco, soft tortillas for me and crunchy taco, uh, taco shells for the boys. Yeah. And so 
and the first tacos I've had in two months. <laughs> it was good. Yep. I didn't eat but just a few of them because I was like, no, I, I, you know, not really supposed to have tortilla types things. That's, I think that's probably not on, on not, not something I'm supposed to have. So I'll just have a few since it's, it's with my evening meal. It should be okay. Since I haven't eaten, I hadn't, I didn't eat anything else today before that. I had one of them, um, meal replacement drinks, uh, for er earlier in the day when I got up, I had a meal replacement drink. And, um, so that's what I've been having is a one meal replacement drink and, uh, then dinner because my sleep schedule is kind of messed up. And then occasionally at, in the middle of the night, you know, because I'm a night owl, I will have a bowl of cereal, which is frosted shredded wheat. So I'm getting my fiber in and almond milk because, um, uh, I'm lactose intolerant. So in case y'all didn't know that. <laughs> regular milk um and, it, and it's not like it uh messes my stomach up like it does a lot of people that are lactose intolerant i have a very strange reaction to um milk um and i and i can eat i can eat ice cream sometimes but at, not on a regular basis uh because instead of like you know some people get stomach issues you know from lactose intolerance it actually turns into phlegm in my in my um lungs and it causes me congestion and it's it's really weird it's a really weird reaction and um and i tried to describe it to many doctors but doctors laughed me out of the office like i didn't know what i was talking about uh it's my body i, I know when i do this this happens when i don't do this that doesn't happen so it would you know you know duh <laughs> so yeah so when I started having almond milk with my cereal instead of 2% milk, which is what I, you know, been having most of my life, um, because regular milk was really doing a number on me. So I switched to 2% milk and, you know, that did, did it less. It still did it some, but it did it less. And then someone introduced, I don't remember where it went, but some, somebody, some around the, along the line introduced me to almond milk and soy milk and and then it went away altogether so there you have it but um, i know a lot of people are like oh almond milk oh but it doesn't bother me uh to be honest i don't drink the milk after i uh, have the cereal i let the dogs have it <laughs> my dogs are rotten like that i'll eat the cereal and they'll come over and, and lap up the, the milk out of my bowl that's exactly what happens I don't drink that milk after I eat the cereal. No, I sure don't. <laughs> My dogs get it. They sure do. And uh, so, you know, they're rotten. So spoiled. And uh, if if I eat meat on my if I have meat on my my plate, they want to lick my plate, and I let them. <laughs> I call it pre-washing. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they don't they don't go and it when when Johnny's eating, they don't go and beg him for his food. And Will closes his door so they don't they don't go beg him for his food because he doesn't he closes his door when he eats in his room. And John, they don't bother Johnny cuz Johnny's not letting it, letting anything go. But they they definitely know they got my number. <laughs> yeah, they know as soon as I clean my plate that they get to lick it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm bad like that. I told Johnny I'm helping him out by letting him pre-wash the plate. <laughs> Does he believe me? I don't know. It's just another way I spoil my babies. And when I get up to come in here to record, they get up and follow me. One is on the floor, one is on the bed. When I, when I finish recording, and I get up to go back in the living room and work, finish on those sweater. Five rows on, I got five rows left on one sleeve and a whole nother sleeve. Cause believe it or not, trying to figure out how to ombre a sleeve with, you know, yarn <laughs> is, 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 and get a particular effect. is not an easy task, but uh, yeah. So they follow me from room to room. If I get up and leave a room, they get up and leave a room. 
just me and my shadows <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way I really wouldn't I love the attention I really do so uh, yeah my babies my babies and then tomorrow I get to go weigh in oh a little nervous I don't want to get the finger shaking at me what have you been eating why haven't you lost more weight yeah the weight loss doctor mm. he was really nice last time because I'd lost you know a, 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 you know enough to make him happy this time I don't know because I fell off the wagon a little bit and ate some some pie you know mm. and yeah and a couple of things that I shouldn't eat that I didn't gain anything back so there's that and according to Dr. Gibson's uh, records, I lost six pounds, but that's not 13 pounds like last time. So I'm a little worried, just just honestly. So it's not it's not the progress that I wanted. Um, but I did sort of warn Dr. Barnes last month when I told him that my son's birthday was coming and my birthday was coming. There might be a few little indulgences here and there. So I did kind of warn him. So. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, he doesn't get the finger. <laughs> he doesn't get that, you know, how they, they point that finger at you and go, well, you should have did this and you should have did that. But I'm trying to get back on track and I am pretty much on track with the exception of the tacos tonight. The tattoo, you know, I was looking at some, um, some lettuce, some hearts of romaine lettuce to see if I could figure out how to have a tuna sandwich without bread. <laughs> Because I have some cans of tuna in the cabinet and I really want, wanted to have a tuna sandwich, you know. But I didn't want to eat the bread because I'm not supposed to have bread. Um, and I was looking, I was thinking, well, I, if I wrap it up in a, in a lettuce, you know, you know, maybe. But I didn't like the way that those, those hearts of romaine looked. They, you know, they were two weeks old, you know, the, and it's been in the store two weeks. It said it on the, it had a little thing it, showing when they got it in. And I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like how long they'd been in the store, so I might have to check another place, um, another store to see if they got any fresher, fresher than what uh, Walmart had. Uh, Walmart's produce really looked a little pathetic, to be honest. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, <coughs> but yeah, their produce could could use some work. But I'm, I'm gonna be over there by Kroger tomorrow um when i get done with the doctor's office and so hopefully i can stop in at kroger their 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 produce department's usually top notch it's a little more a little bit more money but um all i really want is some sort of lettuce wrap things so i can have some tuna sandwich you know without bread <laughs> as strange as that may sound you, you know you just you, you're trying to stay on track but you don't want to give up you know everything you know you, you just want to have something healthy without you know giving up all the flavor of things that you just of all the things I want but I've been craving tuna so I was like I really want a tuna sandwich but I don't want to have the bread because I don't want to lose progress you know so I've been just holding back and not having the tuna until I can find a solution so I will find a solution and I will have that tuna and uh, but it'll be wrapped up in some some lettuce or something and uh so that i don't feel guilty about it but um so i got just this appointment month tomorrow and then i don't really have any other goings on this week at all except for work finishing this sweater and starting the one i got a deposit on and oh and i did get an email about a lady that wants the um the blue raspberry sweater so there's that um so that's definitely spoken for and then i got one that i gotta do that uh, won't take me very long because it's only a 1x and so that won't take me long i have probably a few days on that and um and then i'll do something else <laughs> oh i don't know i don't know what i'll do I, I got that blanket of wheels that i need to work on between now and get done by christmas uh, i don't know how i'm gonna feel 
you know, I got all the next month. I'm going to try to get as many of my Christmas gifts done next month as I can because I don't know what I'm going to feel like after the surgery in November. And I don't know what part of November I'm going to be doing the surgery. I won't know until next month's appointment, you know, until we get closer to it. I won't know uh, when he plans on scheduling that. And he's not going to schedule anything until I, m I meet this 30 pound deadline, you know, limit. So until I'm at a particular weight, he's not going to do, he's not going to schedule nothing. And I'm not doing, I'm not agreeing to anything until after October. So, um, and he knows that, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this off here. Cause I got, I got to go finish this sweater. I got things I need to do. And, uh, but, uh, I love y'all and so does Jesus. And please remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friend's waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully with a completed sweater. <laughs> hopefully. And, uh, anyway. Bye for now.